Hello and welcome to Dietrich Gamecast, back with another episode of Let's Play MLB The Show 20. I'm Jeremy as always, uh, here with my Tampa Bay Rays. Let's check the standings, see where we're at. So we're now nine and a half games back in the AL East, uh, but crucially uh, tied for the second wildcard spot with the Angels. So we made a little bit of progress last episode, which is good. I'll start voting. We still have a few. Uh, and yeah, we got Grandal. It's the top catcher in the American League. Pretty exciting. And Charlie Blackman. It's the top right fielder. Still don't have any money to sign our draft picks yet. But uh, cross that bridge when it's nearer to us. We're going to do a little bit of simulation. We got uh, Oakland here. Three game set. First game's Maeda versus Kirby. Sean Poppins back for the biscuits. I've never wanted to stop simulating. I think I've talked about this before, but I've never wanted to stop simulating for the Southern League first half. It's just never interested me. James Paxton's back. That's good. And we pick up the win. That's even better. Maeda's up to 5-2. and two. Next we got Kershaw versus Verlander. That's a big matchup. Verlander uh, looks like he's having a better year right, right now. And that continues to bear out. Tough loss for Kershaw. So we got a rubber match day game. Ryu versus Odorizzi. Oh, and an identical blowout loss. Uh, fortunately, we lose a series there to the A's. Just not great. Not great. But we've got the Mariners up. Darvish versus Chirinos. Good to know the Mariners are uh, still bad in this reality as well. Paxton versus Lester. Paxton returning to his old team, and it's a loss for the Rays. Sean Poppins hurt again. Uh, Maeda versus Bubik. Not sure how to say that one. It's a risky one. Anyway, he's got a bad ERA. And a sweep by the Mariners. I'm not too upset because I like the Mariners, but... Not good for our, our playoff hopes. Let's check the standings again. Oh, we're still all right. Angels haven't been doing well either. And speaking of which, we've got a four-game set against them. This is crucial for the playoff race. Uh, Kershaw versus uh, Mize. Mize. I'm, I'm on a real bad run on pronunciations here. Kershaw has a shutout going late in the game. Finish it off. Uh, top of the eighth. Two outs, two on. He's not really that close to a shutout, but let's go and get it. Look at that. Oh, that's ugly. We need to beat this team. This is actually quite important. I need to focus here. Unfortunately, as usual, at the beginning of the episode, I am a bit rusty. Blackman won away from the ALD for RBIs. All right, Max Kepler here, 0 for 2 with a walk. And let's uh, let's get this guy. Oh, he's out early on that fastball. He's hitting 328 this season with runners in square position. Quite a good, uh, quite a good mark. Oh, couldn't quite have to get that slider uh, to catch the corner. Oh, here we go. It's two outs. Thankfully, I remembered. And we get the runner first. One more inning for the shutout. Here's Aaron Bummer. Uh, 3.58 to your A. Better against lefties. Some pretty uh, pretty average numbers. Just unremarkable. Cano, home run, two RBIs and a run. I like that. Glad to hear that. And we're batting. I thought I might just be pitching this curse shot, but no, we're going. Ooh, trying to get a look in. Okay, Vaskurgeon seems to think this guy doesn't allow uh, many home runs. So, could be tough. Good check swing by Cano. Oh, there we go. Cano with a solid single. That's what I like to see. 
Uh, this might be an interesting situation to uh, take Kano out of the game. Throw in a pinch runner. Oh, that's a good knock. Buzz the tower slightly. Not too close, though. Not, you know, totally frightening. Uh, we're going to have Jose Iglesias coming for Robbie Cano. Not really a stealing threat, but uh, rest Cano a bit. In case we need to trade him. Oh, bad effort by Burns. That pitch couldn't even hit the side of Burns. And he still swung. I'm tempted to send Iglesias, but he's just not not fast enough. Uh-oh. Oh, a tough double play. Barnes continues to uh, have an ice-cold bat. Too bad. And here's Billy Hamilton. He's hitting 185, so really kind of the shine fading from Billy Hamilton's season after his call-up. And it doesn't help I'm not really being too picky about my pitches here. That one I didn't like. It was not tempting in any way. Looks like a solid crowd here in Tampa Bay. Hopefully we're late enough into the game where they're not going to show the attendance so I don't get proven wrong. Well, it looks like there's some people. Billy Hamilton fighting to stay alive here. Oh, there we go. This could be interesting. And he's in easily. Time to spare. It's a base hit for Billy Hamilton. And he needs that with his average. Here's Tyler Nakel. There's a pitch out. That's what I like to see. That's when you have that speed on the bases. Get them to waste some pitches. I'm going to steal. Had to swing at it. It was in the zone. I feel like he got a decent break, though. Whoa, that was a bit too high, but... It's the end of the eighth. Time for Kershaw to finish his shutout. What do we got here? Number nine, Marwin Gonzalez. Wow. Nice to see him again. And let's throw a fastball. Nice little challenge pitch. Oh, I should stop saying challenge pitch. Anyway, we hold Marwin there to a, to a single. Kershaw already had 108 pitches. I need to be uh, efficient here. Though Kershaw is a guy that can go uh, throw a lot of pitches if need be. We got Mark Reynolds here. Uh, good for him, still in the lead. Oh, I was trying to get that a bit lower. Didn't really want it to be in the zone. And there we go. Reynolds with uh, a strikeout that you might say... Uh, comes to a bit too often in his career. But he does have, well, he used to have that good power. I don't know if he still does. Here's Logan Davidson. He's 0 for 3. Oh, and a close pitch, but it misses. There you go. This guy seems to be taken. Except for that one. He really liked that one. Oh, that's just unfortunate. All right, two on, only one out. Corey Lee comes in. Okay, who do we got here? I keep worrying that Mike Trout's going to come up, but he's probably not actually on these angels. Here's Max Stasi. Hitting 304. Not a great curveball. That's on me. Uh, might be time to swarm somebody up. This is starting to look a little bit dodgy. My favorite guy, Sean Duell, is going to warm up. Look at those great stats. 
Amazing against righties. Just what you want in your closer. Only effective against lefties. Well, at least I got him to swing at one. Three and one count. I'm gonna have to come in with a fastball. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Iglesias turns the double. Beauty. Shut out for Kershaw. He needed that. That's gonna be a refreshing tonic for him. Eight strikeouts, two walks. Give up seven hits. Beauty. Angels had more hits than we did, but. They didn't capitalize when it mattered. They didn't have Cano hitting that home run, which was the difference. Kershaw moves to 6-6. Six and six. Uh, Good game for Eddie Rosario, I guess. 2 for 4. Best of a middling bunch of performances. Anyway, we're a game up in the wildcard race, which is good. Ryu versus Maul. Sean Poppins back, thankfully. And that's a 2-0 loss, so the series is tied 2-2 on aggregate. Uh, as we head into July. Very excited to be in July. Darvish versus Walden. That's win for Darvish. Nice to see. And Paxton versus Mize again. Oh, and it's a split series. Uh, Could have been better, but... Didn't lose any ground, which is nice. Still tied for that second wildcard spot. Royals and Indians still in it, though. And the Red Sox way out in front, so we're going to need to get the second uh, second wildcard spot. Uh, we got some alerts here. Joey Gerber had a great month of June. He's a closer. You know what? There might be a job opportunity. I'm just saying. Forrest Wall raked in June. Jorge Ona also doing well. Not good for Cameron Rogner. Or Thomas Burroughs. Okay, I'm not going to make any moves. But I'm going to send a nice email to the skip. Yeah, because it seems like they put a lot of work in. Okay, we got the Cubs here. We're going to Chicago. And there's a win. Maeda over Jimenez. There's Kershaw coming off a great start versus Corbin. Oh, and it's not a good start. It's an 11-2 loss. Well, we do have a trade offer from the Yankees. Hudson Potts for Julian Garcia. Garcia drawing a lot of trade interest for somebody I have no idea about. I remember his overall was really low. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Classic GM attitude. Ah, oh, Kershaw, come on. Here's Rio versus Otani. That's exciting. He's on the Cubs. Doesn't seem to be doing very well, though. Okay, Rizzo has two home runs already. Make it three here against Dan Otero. So I guess it didn't go very well for Otani. Now let's try and get a third home run for Rizzo. Pretty exciting. Complete games. My team's leading the way. Rio with four. Look at that. That's just great. Good job for him. Kershaw's got one. Paxson's got one. And there's one mystery one. It's not shown on the screen. Okay, time for the third big one from Anthony Rizzo. Oh, a bit early on the slot. I'm going all power swings. Nothing else, no other buttons are being considered. No bunts here. Okay, that's a bit better, still a bit early. Well, a lot early, I guess. No. Well, it was uh, not the greatest effort. But it was an effort. And the Rays win 11-1. to Great stuff. Rizzo, great job. Seven RBIs. Pretty impressive. Otani, five earned runs, two and a third. That's depressing. Hopefully he hit well. Though, they only have one run, so... Can't have been too amazing. I'm feeling... I wish my team was in a stronger position standings-wise, but I'm feeling pretty good about my team otherwise. 
Uh, we got five games until the uh, All-Star celebration. Uh, so I think that'll be the conclusion of our episode, because I think I'll do an All-Star episode next time out. Here on the Deitch Gamecast, make sure you subscribe. But uh, let's finish this out. Darvish versus Grinky. That's a win. That's a big W. And we have an offer from the Blue Jays, Sean Doolittle. I did put him on the trade block, if you remember last episode. Who are we getting? Zach Davies. Uh, 79 overall starter. That's not really going to do much for me. I guess he's better than Price. That's depressing. Um, okay, so a minor improvement there. Pomeran's not good. And on a really pretty bad contract. So I'm going to turn this down. I would like to get more value for Doolittle than that. Even though he hasn't been doing well. We've got Paxton versus Garrett Richards. Peralta has two home runs already to make it three. Sure, why not? Or Brad Boxberger. A bit of a closer game. 6-2. You're in the seventh, or no, eighth inning, sorry, top of the eighth. One out, Story at second. Peralta having a big game, two for four with two home runs, five RBIs. And this is against a team with a better record, too, so I'm glad we're having a good performance. This could be a two-game sweep here. All right, time for the big third home run from Peralta. Misses outside. 33,905 people here in Miller Park. Looks like a nice stadium. Some sort of yellow uh, slide-like thing towards the left side, high, left high side of the screen. Don't know what that is. It's kind of cool. Looking. Well, that's not going to be a home run, but it is a hit for David Peralta. And that's what I like to see. Oh no, I have to run. I'm just not going to touch the stick. That's a strikeout. Here's Josh Donaldson, 2 for 2 in the game. 4 for 6 in the series. Well done to him. Must be enjoying the Milwaukee hospitality. With such things as, uh, I guess, brewing. I don't know. Tough thing about being Canadian is uh, it's tough to know a lot about like some of uh, some of the American cities because you only hear about so many of them. I don't really hear much about Milwaukee, but I'm sure it's nice. Uh, Baez just walked, by the way. This is an NL game. McCutcheon with a triple. Go ahead. Uh oh. They're mounting comeback, but Sean Doolittle closes the door. That's good. Could be saving his job. Uh, good work by Peralta. Good work by Paxton. Even Doolittle, not too bad. Good stuff. Paxton goes to 7 and 3. Doolittle with his 18th save of the year. And a big sweep of the Brewers. There's the Milwaukee Mile. I know that. Could go to that. Okay. Last series of the day. We got Maeda versus uh, Savali. Oh, well, first we have an offer from the Blue Jays. Uh, we're trading quite a few guys for Marcos Villa. Who has D potential. Good stuff. Okay. There's a win. That's what we like to see. Uh, Kirsch offers Andreese, who hasn't made a start yet. Oh, Donaldson with an injury. Bruce Leg could affect his appearance at the All-Star game if he's winning the vote. Uh, Andreese did very well on his season debut. Seven innings, no earned runs. And we have a rubber match here. Rio versus Keller. And, fittingly, we're going to end the episode with uh, a critical situation. Tied game, batting at home. Walk it off. It's Yasmany Grandal. Hamilton at second, Naquin at first. Let's do it. Uh, we got the NL leaders here. Not too concerned about that. We're only half a game back of the, the wild card. 
So, you know, we slid back slightly, but not too bad. Facing Scott Alexander here. Run all as a double so far. Hitting 242 on the year. Bottom of the ninth one out. Let's do this thing. All we need is a hit. Billy Hamilton is lightning quick. Oh. Didn't quite pick that one up. That was a good pitch to hit. Whoop. One and one count. Back here at home. In Tampa. Oh, what am I doing? I knew it was up. I knew it was up. I knew it was up. Air traffic control informed me about that one. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Gone. Walk off home run for Grandal. What an amazing ending. It's like baseball magic. Oh, that's right. Look at that. He's like a majestic eagle. Soaring through Milwaukee. Or Tampa, I guess. I just feel like I have to put nice things in Milwaukee because I don't know anything about it. I feel bad. Sure, it's nice. Boom. Crushed it. Just peered it. Like a tin can and a pants press. Just crushed. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. And I mean, couldn't really have gone better, honestly. Yes, Mike Grandall with the three run walk off homer. And we're going to the All Star break with some good momentum. Potentially in the wildcard spot. We don't quite know that yet. But uh, we'll find out next episode here on the Nietzsche Gamecast. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.